Hi everyone, I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And we're doing Bickering Book Reviews. Today we're talking about Kind of a Big Deal by Shannon Hale, which I believe I got off of Edelweiss. I did get off of Edelweiss. So this book is about Josie Pye, who is 17 or 18? Not sure. Um, and Josie was a big deal in high school. Like she was the star of all the musicals and everybody said that she was great. So her senior year of high school, her drama coach gets her this audition for a musical on Broadway and he kind of convinces her she's going to get it and her world's going to be changed. So Josie flies out to New York. She goes to audition. It doesn't go well. She can't go home because she's embarrassed because she's kind of a big deal. So she gets this job nannying while trying to get another job. Um, it doesn't ever happen. The family she's nannying for, the couple gets divorced. She then moves to Missoula, Montana with the mom, which is not part of Montana I went to. What? Oh, have you been to Mo Missoula and you just said yes? No, I have not been to Missoula. Oh. I did. I went Billings to Havard on that terrifying little plane from Havard to Great Falls. Then we drove from Great Falls to Bozeman where first contact happened. But there's nothing, there's nothing showing us that the, like, like, I, we were looking for a plaque or a statue or something, but that's besides the point. Then we went down to Yellowstone, and then we cut back up through Livingston and something Ridge on the way to, um, oh, Rushmore. That's my Montana adventure. But so Josie's in Missoula, Montana. She's babysitting this little girl. The mom has gone to Africa for some reason. I wasn't completely clear on that. And um, she's just kind of, like, stumbling through life, trying to figure out what's going on. It's just her and Mia. Her boyfriend, Justin, has stopped replying to things. She had a best friend who lived in Chicago whose name was... Uh, do you remember? I don't remember. Not important. Um, and then she All goes to the bookstore. What was it? All I remember was that um, she was transgender. Right. So Josie goes to a bookstore. They give her this book and these glasses that they said was a sample. She goes to the park. She's reading the book. She falls into the book. And so she falls in. There's like a romance. There's a dystopian novel. And as she falls into these books, um, she learns about herself. And that's basically it. And the reason that I'm having a hard time describing it is this book was not great. And even as you're describing it, I'm, like, remembering little details, and I'm, like, oh, like, the glasses, like, when, right. we, when we, like, kind of further explore. Well, and that's the problem. Like, Josie never needed glasses. This guy says to her, you need these glasses because of the altitude? And so she starts wearing these random glasses somebody gave her at a bookstore. It's just, like, it, the whole book's filled with stuff like that. She's a senior in high school. Her drama coach convinces her to new, move to New York to try out for this musical. And she her parents no are okay with it. Like, she goes to live at a youth hostel in New York City. Like, it, it's not even, like, a like a tame city. She just, like, goes off on her own. Like, but that makes thing, no sense. But the thing is, she doesn't get the position. She's trying to get advice from the drama coach, and he says, I have to stop talking to you. My psychiatrist thinks this is bad for my mental health because your failure, failure is reminding me of my failure. I'm like, WTF? <laughs> well, I think this book was just having an identity crisis because I feel like it's a middle grade book based on the, the like, story hopping that she does. It, and, like, her kind of thoughts and feelings feel very middle grade to me. However, you think that it feels... Like I think that it would be better as an adult book. Because, like, when I was reading it, like, I could kind of see, like, with Austin Land, I think that if she had ate, made it, Josie right out of college and she had failed at Broadway and so she was nannying and so she was getting these experiences by falling, falling into the books. Because I've, I've, I think I've seen adult books. Like, it's a good idea, but it's an idea I've seen before. Because the thing is, like, they don't typically – story hop though like in austin land she goes to one other place right but i've seen that in other books where people go fall in and out of books like um it's the jasper ford series the air yeah i have to read that no yeah no in those they he she goes tuesday next goes in and out of books all the time it's just done better 
But that's the thing, like, you like Tuesday Next. You liked the character in Austin Land. You don't like Josie Pye. Yeah, and I'm and I sorry. Thought- I get the point is that she thinks she was a big deal in high school, but she says it over and over and over. A lot of things over and over again. I actually wonder if this would have worked better and if we would have liked her better if it was, if the um, perspective was different, if we weren't inside of her head. Maybe if it was a third person. Because the thing is, like, my other kind of wondering is, is she any good? Like, is she really any good? Because in her mind, she's built up the fact that, you know, everybody's fawning all over her and saying that she's this great actress. But, like, is that really what ha- Like, is it really what happened? Because I don't think so. And, like, is this drama teacher just kind of blowing smoke in her well, But he had to pull favors to, like, get her. But then again, how hard is it to be great on a high school level? Right. I mean, she wasn't a trained singer. And, like, why wasn't anybody saying to her, let's take some time, take some voice lessons? Right. I just, I, I think we needed a more objective view of her. And I think she needed to grow more. Like, I, I think if had she grown more and had, like, an epiphany and all of that, we could have grown to like her, but it just didn't happen. And I feel like the book she fell into needed a little bit something more. Well, in the book she fell into, I wouldn't want to read. No. I guess. Like, I'm like, oh, the zombie Lloyds. Like, I couldn't. What the heck? I don't know, but I guess the one thing, though, that, like, I was difficult for me as I'm reading is knowing that she's consciously going into these stories while she's baby or nannying the child. I'm like, as an adult, that, like, gives me heart palpitations. Like, well, they you know, have the kid. Right, like, you don't know how long you're going to be gone. You, you don't know any of that stuff. You're supposed to be watching the kid. Right. Well, then there's a part where, like, she considers community theater, but they don't want her for the lead. And she's like, but I was a big deal in high school. And I'm thinking, you're going to get nowhere. Right. I I just... And, like, she has this boyfriend who keeps appearing, appearing in the books. And she loves him. We know she loves him because she keeps telling us. She in no way shows us that she loves him. And I'm just like... You're supposed to have, like, this big romantic conclusion with them, and I don't freaking care. Well, because we never had any actual interaction with him. All of right. the- he, he just shows up and after being in the books, but I love him. And then, I'm sorry, it took her too long to figure out what was going on. It took her too long to figure out how she was getting in the books. Yeah. We just, we just need to stop. So we, we should really need to rate it. So our rating system starts at the top with five unicorns. We go down to two unicorns. If we don't like it, it's a horse. I will also say, so before we do that, I downloaded the book, and then I went into Goodreads to mark that I was reading it, because I like to know how long it takes me to read it. And I saw the score in Goodreads. And then I read a couple of the comments, and I was like, this was a mistake. (laughs) So where are you? I was so excited. I So the one part I did like is when she gets sucked into a graphic novel. Yeah. I was the one part I liked, and I wish that that had been more. And it wasn't as much as her because she was still kind of annoying in the graphic novel, but I liked the formatting. Yeah. I feel like the more we talk about it, the lower my rating goes. Right. So I gave it a two on Goodreads. I want to. I kind of want to give it a one. I'm kind of there too, but I very rarely make things horses because I right. like magic, and this book had man- magic in it. Uh, like I'm like maybe a one and a half. I guess I'll go with a. I no, you know what? When when have we ever given it horses before? Do you remember? There was that book not that long ago that was the prequel to the other book. I'll give it a two because I finished it. I got it. Like, see, and I I'm leaning. I'm kind of. Like, at a one and a half, and... Yeah. I just... I mean, and the other... Like, it's hard, because... Like, I know that she put time and effort into this. Right. Book. I mean, she really tried. And it's a long book, so it took a lot of time. Right. My thing is, like, when I read a book like this, I'm like, who am I going to give it to? Adults aren't going to want to read it because she's too young. 
Right. Teens aren't going to read it because they're going to think it's boring. Right. Middle grade kids aren't going to read it because the pacing it's not is really boring. appropriate either. Like it's not, it wouldn't be interesting to them. So who do I give it to? It's just going to sit on my shelf. And we're going to have copies because it's Shannon Hale. And what's frustrating even more than that is the kids that love her books, the kids that read The Princess in Black and The Princess Academy and have aged out of that and are looking for the next thing to read are going to find this book and they're going to be so disappointed. Yeah, because this isn't it. So, like I said, I kind of want to give it a one. I kind of want to change my rating from Goodreads. Yeah. Maybe, like, maybe it'll go through a good editing process, but I think a lot of changes would need to be made yeah. for this book to work. So I guess I'm going to stick with my two, but with disappointment. I disappointed too. And that is where we are on kind of a big deal, and we'll see you around. Goodbye. Bye.